So this is Crypto Compare. It's an API to fuel your app with real cryptocurrency data. It's the best free API for getting cryptocurrency data and live pricing data. And this is the Crypto Compare package in NPM. It's just a simple wrapper around this free API. So we're going to be adding the Crypto Compare package, which is going to give us access to the Crypto Compare API. And so to do that, we're just going to get started by saying yarn add Crypto Compare. It's going to add version 1.3.1. And so now we have Crypto Compare added to our library. We can go back to our app provider and we can start adding in some calls to Crypto Compare. So we're going to say const cc equals require Crypto Compare. And here, when we first launch our app, we actually want to start fetching those, those coins. So we're going to go here to component did mount and we're going to say this dot fetch coins. And we're going to create a function here called fetch coins. Now it's going to be an async function, which we'll explain in a second. But essentially now we're just going to get the coin list by saying await cc.coinlist. And we're just, we're just going to see what happens when we do that for now. So we say await cc.coinlist. And then we're just going to log that to our console here. And so you can see here the response from the Crypto Compare API log to our console. When we say await, what we're actually doing is waiting for this promise to resolve. So cc.coinless is going to return a promise. And then asynchronously, we'll wait for that to come back with the await command. And then we'll, we're logging that. So And so using the async await, we can declare this function as an async function, which allows us to use the await command in there. And so... Now, we don't want this data being set on our app, this other metadata, we just want this data in here. And so you could see here, if we go down into this data, you could see that this will return all the cryptocurrency coins. So coin list is gonna return all the coins. And so you could see we have all the coins here and all the data in there. So we're just gonna say dot data with a capital D. Then let's just save that just to see how that works. So now you could see we just have the coins, that's just what we want. And we're going to go ahead and set that state on our app. So we're going to say this.setState coin list. And that'll be it for that. And we'll just save this. And now you can see we don't have anything displaying here. But that's that's the general idea of fetching the coins. We're not actually rendering any any our coin, any of our coins right now. But uh, we'll do that next. We're going to be rendering a coin grid here for in our settings page. And to commit, we'll just say add crypto compare.